All right, well, today we are back at the Goodwill. We are in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania, and it's been about a month since we were here the last time, so I'm hoping we have some new treasures on the shelf, but um, we're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. Crazy Wife Lady, and welcome to my channel. Alright, so I think we're gonna start here at the first aisle. There's a ton of people here today. Um, it is senior day. That's empty. These little guys are kind of cute. I don't know, they kind of remind me of like a big lots or something. There's no markings on the bottom. They are adorable. They've got some damage here. So I think we're gonna walk away from those. This thing is kind of fun looking. <laughs> what even is that? What does it say on the bottom? Oh, it says something. I'm gonna flip it. Oh, very carefully one hand it. There we go. The Clayton Dixon Company, product of Canada. That's like really heavy, and that's kind of fun. Oh, we've got damage. No, it's just a little, a little sharp there. I think that that's a lot of fun. It's only three ninety nine. I've never heard of this brand before, but I think we're gonna stick that in our cart. All right, so this is the green aisle because our Goodwill does organize everything by color, which I like. Some people don't, but I like it. And over here we have the blue. But I'm not really seeing a whole lot in the blue. Looks like they've added some shelves because this used to all be um, purses and bags and now it's Christmas. That's Lennox, it looks like. Nope, made in China. I guess it's made to look like Lennox. Sleepy Santa and a gingerbread man carrying a pumpkin. No, just kidding, it's a bag. <laughs> this looks Italian. Hand painted in Italy, $2.99. And I'm surprised there's really no damage to it. I don't know if you would put a candle in that or maybe just a little trinket dish, but I really like the design of it. And you guys know I am a sucker for Italian pottery, so um, I think we're gonna take this with us. Stick it down in here. And then I was noticing these. I just like the texture on those. I think it's interesting, but I'm not sure who makes those. $2.99 a piece as well. I don't know. Pass on those. This little guy on the other hand. What do we have here? He looks kind of like the elfin wear with that texture on it. And it's a shaker. Unfortunately, you can see some of the petals are chipped. That's usually the case with all the elfinware I find. But I really like that little guy. I think he's vintage. So we'll stick him down in there and maybe find his friend. And I've moved into the brown section. This guy doesn't look very brown. <laughs> it's really funny. This was the Hatchimal, I think. Yeah, Hatchimal. Um, they were super popular, and I got them for Ashton and Juliet. And they got these exact same ones. They sat around forever. But I think they're supposed to have wings. These little things are kind of interesting. They're plastic. China. They're little uh, pencils. And I really like this. I don't know if this is Yankee Candle. It is Yankee Candle. My mom used to collect all the Yankee Candle stuff. Unfortunately, this little bird is missing his tail. What is this thing? I'm a little confused by it. I'm too nice <laughs> It's an adorable little wooden cat face. And then it served some purpose, it looks like. But I don't know what purpose it served. It's like balsa wood on the inside. $2.99. I don't know. I think because he looks like he's missing something, I'm going to leave that. 
little duck on some driftwood. Oh, wow, that's a vintage sticker, 1960s. Maine, 1960s, $1.99. I wish it had a signature on it. It doesn't. But every time I come across these birds on driftwood at a decent price, I usually pick them up. So we will stick him in there. Oh, and look at this. That's a little mold. Now this one is, um, I believe this is resin. This isn't wood. Uh, it's got the thistle on it. $1.99. I've done really well with the wooden ones in the past. I believe they're butter molds or shortbread molds. This one is obviously decorative. It's got the thing up there. Um, I think because of the damage all along the edge here, I'm going to pass on it. If it was wood, I would probably um, make an exception for the damage, but since it's resin, we're going to leave it. And what is this little guy? He's so cute. And Neko. <laughs> He's adorable. I've got some Otagiri cups down here. I can't remember the name of this pattern, but they are Otagiri with that cutout heart there and that faux green crazing. They are marked $2.99 a piece. There's five of them, it looks like. Um, so that would be like 15 bucks. I don't know if that's... Oh, this one's got damage. A little damage there on the edge. And if you look... It's not too worn on the bottom. You can see the horse down there. So um, I think at 15... I don't know. I may have to look them up. All right. Well, I wasn't able to find them, and I didn't want to waste too much time on it, so I'm just going to pass. I think uh, 15 is a bit much. See, that looks kind of like Fitz and Floyd, but it is made in China. We do have some um, mixed bags here. Looks like somebody wanted something in that bag. Sometimes I'll find vintage ornaments in here. Cute little kitty. All right. That's a vintage uh, ashtray. Got some good use out of that. What do we have here? like those. Stoneware. They're just stoneware pieces. They're very, uh, I don't know. I like them. They're very organic. I think is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> we'll stick those in there. Oh look, here's another one. They're everywhere. Nice little decorative pieces. Oh, I didn't even look at the prices. We're looking at $2.99 each. I've got a little fishy here. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with his eyeball. And then uh, down here, I kind of like the looks of these plates. I don't need any plates though. I keep telling myself that. Those plates are really nice too. And then this is a masterpiece. <laughs> I kind of love it. I don't think there's much resale value there, but it is really adorable. Probably a child painted that. Who's this little guy? I just walked by him. Push. Tommy Thailand. $2.99. I can't tell if it's vintage or not. What does he do when you push his head? Oops, I think he broke. Right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there we go. We got his house. I'll just, I mean, that's really cute. $2.99. If there's no resale value there, I have a nephew who I think would really like that. I always look at the artwork whenever I come here. I've had decent luck in the artwork. Looks like somebody's tablecloth or something there. This is a really sweet one of a dog. Mm. This looks like a whole bag of fun. I remember getting these out of the little quarter machine. This is an entire bag of bouncy balls. <laughs> and I feel like my kids could have a lot of fun with those. Oh, look at this cool bouncy ball. I'm going to bounce it. Ready? Whew. All right, 
yeah, I'll grab that whole pack. There's <laughs> no bouncing the balls in the house, kids, because you'll break something. Oh, la la, loopsie. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I kind of like it with the bee and the flowers. $2.99. I don't know if this is supposed to be honeycomb, possibly. Since there's no damage on it, I think we'll grab that. How much was it? $2.99. Okay. <laughs> the dinosaur lamp. I've got some interesting cups up here. Anthropology, and I believe this is Korean. It's made to look Korean anyway. It's got dragonflies on it. I've bought and sold this before, and I remember a cat getting a ton of it, and it sold really well for her. So, you know, for $1.99, I'll grab the dragonfly cup. This one, I just absolutely love it. And it is anthropology, which sells pretty well, so we'll stick that in here. Oh, what do we have back here? Studio Nova. Studio Nova always tricks me into thinking it's Port Marion, but it's not. This here. Castleton China with the flowers. I figure I should probably check this. <laughs> there you go. I'm like, you know, I left that mug just sitting there. I should at least turn it over and see what the bottom says. And it says uh, anthropology as well. All right. There we go. Now those are just prints, it looks like. Bunch of prints. I like the design of that, but we've got a chip on the rim, $1.99. I just like the contrast of that um, stoneware with the glaze. Oh, stuff is shifting in our cart. Everything survived. We're good. Fault scrap. Mm, there's a new card there. I like that dinosaur lamp, but I'm pretty certain that's Target. Well, the entire time we've been shopping and filming, they have been restocking the shelves. So I'm starting back at the beginning to see what we've missed. I think these are home cuddle. Hand painted lasting products. Maybe not. On this side of the shelf, we've got these little boxers. Jan Allen, I don't, I'm not familiar with that. He's got a chip on his ear, but ooh, I think this little guy is very sweet. I don't know if he's, um, I think he might be chalkware. We don't do much with, uh, I don't know, is that a boxer or a Great Dane? But we will stick it in there. All right, well, I completely skipped over the red section. <laughs> so we should at least check it out. That is an interesting piece, $2.99. It's plastic. Oops, and it just wants to come apart every time I try to turn it over. Okay, there we go. There's no markings on the bottom of that. Another little baggie of ornaments. It's got a nice little nutcracker in there. It's probably made in China, though. A green vase here. I like the base of it. Can I have rock and rock piece? Thank you. Two ninety-nine. I'm thinking it's probably a ten to fifteen dollar piece though, so we will leave it. Kinda like the looks of that. Three ninety-nine. I think it might be modern though. Alright, well I noticed this piece the first time I walked by. And I'm not really sure what's going on here. I thought that maybe it was a lamp. It's not. Uh, the base, you can see, is cracked. It's definitely got a vintage look to it. We've got $6.99 on it. I mean, I like it, but it's milk glass. Uh, there's a lot of damage on the base, unfortunately. Now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to recheck the mugs. Since we found all those good mugs hanging on the end cap there. Make sure I didn't miss any while I was browsing the shelves. What's this little guy? Tupperware, $1.99. I just don't know Tupperware that well. I know I use it at my house, but that's all I know. 
All right, there's another Studio Nova. The Port Marion canister sets sell very well, so that's why I thought it was at least worth checking, even though I figured it was Studio Nova. This is a nice mid-century uh, covered dish, but unfortunately a lot of the gold is worn, and my fear would be when I was to peel off this tape, it would take the gold with it, because you can kind of see it stick in there. So it's probably ruined because of the packing tape. This is interesting. Pope Gosser, China. I don't know if it's meant to look like the Franciscan uh, ivy. Maybe, I'm not sure. Definitely looks like it though. Popery Press. A little damage on that base. And I like the texture of that. But I don't need it. I got some good mugs. And I'm not really seeing anything else in the way of nice mugs. That Linux? It is Linux. Made in the USA. $2.99. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is besides being a dish. Sometimes I make an exception for Lennox, sometimes I leave it, and I think today's a day that we're just going to leave it behind. Well, that is a real monumental lamp. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can see there is damage pretty much all the way around. I like the looks of this stuff. Oh, what do we have here? These I like. Art pottery. Oh, looks like a nice one too. Now they let you dig through the cards when they are abandoned. So just books and Boyd's Bears. Except for this. Old friends are the best antiques. Oh, that's so sweet. $2.99. Maybe I'll grab that just because I like antiques too. And old friends. Um, I see some pottery down there, but these giant glasses are making me really nervous to dig too much. We'll stick them over there on the blades bears. Alright, is this a hole? No, it's a McCormick. Is that guy down there? Alright, I think I'm satisfied. Maybe. Yes, I will I will be satisfied with my potty plate. <laughs> hey, this little guy's new. $1.99. It's a shame that it's personalized. <laughs> Otherwise, I would totally take it with me. $1.99. I wonder what Snow was a president of from 76 to 77. All right. Got a lovely lady here. <laughs> A little wooden box. The car on top. I think it's missing a wheel though. Two wheels. $2.99. Unmade in China. So I've actually walked by this a couple times. <laughs> and I just don't know. It's uh, Japan. $1.99. It is a very sweet little planter. So for $1.99, it's been sitting here speaking to me every time I walk by it. <laughs> I don't see any damage on it. Uh, no, we're good. It's one of those beaded um, arrangements. That's the word I was looking for. But I'm not really sure. I don't think I've ever bought and sold any of those before.
All right, well, we are back in the truck and our total spend was $48. That included a disposable bag because I didn't bring any with me. But I think we did pretty good today at $48. Um, I feel like each of, well, the two anthropology mugs are worth probably about 20 bucks a piece. And that will cover the entire trip. So we did all right. I'm excited to see how this stuff does. And um, we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to head over to Nito Burrito get myself a burrito and then I'm going to the shop so I will see all of you tomorrow so long thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video in case you spotted something you just can't live without we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description